Okay, hello everybody on YouTube. I've gotten a decent amount of new perfumes in my collection recently, so I figured I've been kind of excited to talk to you guys about them. So let's just get into it. The first one I want to talk to you guys about is one I got in the last week. It's Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. This is one I've been interested in for a really long time and it's just always been kind of one of those like iconic celebrity fragrances that everyone says is just one of the best. It gets a lot of comparisons to Narciso mm, for her and to me it smells almost exactly like that one. It's just this really clean, fresh, often described as musky, but like for me, when I smell it, I'm not like, that smells like musk. Cause I don't, I still, I've, I've researched what musk is. I've had people explain it to me and I just still do not, like it's just hard for me to just be able to pick it out of a, a thing. Um, so, but I can see, you know, when people say this is like a clean musk, uh, there is, there is this kind of soapiness to it. Yeah. Like musk is just this mystery thing to me still. It's just this hazy idea and I'm endlessly fascinated by it and find it really cool. And it's something I want to keep exploring, but I still don't really understand it. But anyway, with this perfume, this is just really elegant, very put together. This is the perfect going to work perfume and just to feel like a woman who has her shit together um, is definitely the vibe it gives me. Very, very Sarah Jessica Parker. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is Skin Musk perfume oil. This is one that I've been really intrigued about as well because of the blog Fruit Chuli. Um, they had a post with it and it was like this really retro like 70s vibe and ever since I saw that then I like looked it up and then I read their reviews and everyone, the, just the way they described it made me so interested. Um, so many of the perfumes I've been trying lately are because of Fruit Chuli. Uh, they're so cool. I love them so much. I need to stop. I hope it's not like, I hope you guys at Fruit Chuli, if you're watching this, you're not like creeped out or anything. I just, I will literally go on your blog and look up notes and see if you've talked about any perfumes with those notes and just like read your reviews and thoughts because I just find the way you guys talk about fragrance so fascinating and gorge. Um, you guys should write a book, just saying. But yeah, this is the Skin Musk Perfume Oil. I think this was a really popular perfume in the 70s that was like marketed at teenage girls in the 70s. And it smells like baby oil. It's super soft and pleasant, and I think it's one that um, that would really hold up well today if you just want something subtle. This one literally smells like Johnson Johnson baby wash, and the oil in here is so interesting. So like, you put it on by like dabbing it, and so much comes out, and it's like very very thick. And even this whole bottle, I should, I have no reason to even be opening it right now because you can literally smell it because it's kind of all over this and a little messy, but worth it and definitely a vibe. I might eventually get the spray, but when I was looking at the reviews, everyone said that the oil was the way to go and that it was more true to what it smelled like in the 70s. Um, so yeah, that is Skin Musk Perfume Oil. The next one 
I got in my subscription box on Fragrance Net. Uh, so many of the uh, perfumes I've gotten in my Fragrance Net subscription, I have not liked that much at all. And finally, I got one that I really love, and it's Prada Amber. This is another for Truly Wreck. And when I first smelled this, I was a little taken aback because it really is very patchouli forward. Um, and there's even something a little animalic in it that really like surprised me. And then, but now that I've actually worn it, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cozy and warm and just gorgeous. It has a similar addictive quality to something like Angel where it has that kind of warm sweetness gourmand combined with patchouli and the way those things work together is just really intoxicating um this has that another perfume that it really reminds me of is coco mademoiselle intense and specifically the the patchouli that's in coco mademoiselle intense that specific thing right there because I sprayed that on the other day and the dry down of it and the patchouli in it was just this really sweet, earthy patchouli and it was the most gorgeous thing ever to me. The patchouli in here reminds me just of that and it feels like it, like that perfume if you get rid of everything else and it's just patchouli and vanilla. This has that quality and I just adore it. It's definitely one I see myself getting a full bottle of. Um, I've definitely already made a dent in it. I really like this. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is one that I've just, I just don't stop falling in love with this. It is Rosendo Matau number five. This is one that I've loved forever. or like since January but um, I got a decant of it then, and I'm still working through it. I haven't even sprayed this yet, but I just got it because I wanted to have it in my collection in case it ever gets discontinued. Um, and, and this is the, this perfume and Hypnotic Poison are the only perfumes that I have that I know I'm always gonna want in my collection, which really surprises me because I have a lot of them and the more I've been collecting, the more I've been realizing, like, when I get through these, I don't know which ones I'm actually going to want to repurchase, if I'm even going to want to. But with this one, I definitely will. This is one of the most intoxicating, unique, gorgeous smelling fragrances to me. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so even though I haven't sprayed it, I can smell it because it's really strong and it really lasts and it's the smell of it's still coming through here. And it's just this like, it's described as a, literally on the bottle, floral, amber, sensual musk. I don't smell any florals. The amber is the main thing that I can kind of grasp. And even with amber, that's something I'm still learning about myself. Like it sounds like it's just like a kind of vanilla that just is deeper and like has other shit that makes it more deep. Um, and that's kind of the vibe of this. It's like this hazy, fuzzy, warm, like su sweet, sugary, but like, it has this facet too where it smells a little rubbery and it's very unisex oh my god and just like truly stunning it's super i guess like when it's hard to pinpoint things in a fragrance oftentimes that's because they're blended really well i'm assuming like like when i think of something like baccarat rouge to me, that is just this hazy, gorgeous fragrance that is just that fragrance to me. 
you know, I'll say things and other people will say things that it smells like cotton candy or burnt sugar, but ultimately it really just smells like what it is. And those are just like the closest you can get to kind of trying to describe the vibe it gives. I feel similar with this one in that it's really hard to pin it down. But like if I had to, I would just say that it has this kind of like rubber vibe to it and like this really sweet sugary amberiness to it but it's so good this is one that i felt like i would really only wear in winter and i was planning to just get a bottle more in autumn time but i was able to get this for a, half the price that it is on its own website on fragrance buy because they have stuff really heavily discounted, but then I was able to get free shipping and a like 15% discount. Um, so it ended up being like cheaper than like a full size designer perfume. And um, I feel very lucky that I was able to uh, take advantage of that because um, it's also a tester. But uh, yeah, this is amazing because I had a date and I was like, I really want to wear this so bad. I was like, I can't wear it. It's summer. It's really hot. It's really humid. And this is not a summer perfume, bitch. And also, like, it, like, is this a perfume guys would like? Um, that's always, like, when I'm going on dates, I always, like, it's so tempting to wear things that maybe that I really love that I feel like maybe aren't as crowd pleasing, but I'm also scared too. Um, but I ended up wearing it and I really liked it. Like it made, it really to me like is even better in the heat. It's one of those perfumes that um, is very versatile in that way. And it just kind of blossoms in the air. Uh, I only need two sprays two or three because even with like a really powerful perfume like this or Baccarat it's still hard for me to just do two but ultimately like really you do like two is totally enough and it's just it's super intoxicating I love it so much and it just like melts into the skin in this really beautiful way and just creates this aura and I love it so much I I don't know if any of you guys have smelled this one, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it or like, or even just like perfumes that you're just in love with that you find it really difficult to describe them. Cause I don't know, I just think that's one of the coolest vibes a perfume can have when it's just like, feels so its own. Um, but yeah, I love this so much. I'm so excited because I just feel like even with Hypnotic Poison, I went through that one a few months ago and it will always be like a pillar of my collection and one that I love deeply. Um, but this to me really feels like right now in my life that this is like my holy grail perfume. And I'm so happy to finally actually have it in my collection, even though I don't even know when I'm gonna get to using this bottle because my decant is still like a third of the way full and due to how little I actually need to wear I could it could take me a while to get through that still um, but the fact that it is summer appropriate just excites me so much and I'm excited to start wearing it more and more and then the last new bottle that I got recently is Dosun from Diptyque, the Eau de Toilette. So I've sampled this a few times and the first time I was like, eh, it's nice. That was like really at the very beginning of my perfume journey. And before I was even into perfumes, there was just this girl I follow on Instagram that said that it was her favorite perfume and that guys just loved it. and that she sprayed it in between her boobs and then the guy like couldn't get out of her boobs and then I was like oh wow I want that and so I sampled it and 
I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, I got another sample recently that was actually like a spray sample. And again, I was like, oh, this is really pretty, but I doubt I'm gonna wanna own it because it, it's basically just like two bros. That's what it is. Two bros is the main character of this. Um, I don't pick anything else out. It's just this really bright, vivid two bros. And it's so like fresh and, and like ripe and pretty elegant. Um, definitely it is sexy, but it also just feels like a perfume that you could just wear and you're when you're in like a sundress and it's just like super cute you know one that when i go on fragrantica a lot of people bring up carnal flower when they're talking about this one and to me carnal flower is a lot more dry and 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 more unisex it's not as sweet as this um this is a very like sweet vivid tuberose where like the sweetness does feel like it comes from the tuberose itself and it's just a, a little bit of a different vibe and it definitely for me I like it more like it feels more wearable it feels more it's definitely more mass pleasing and I'm a dumb bitch like I'm I can't not enjoy that you know it, it it smooths the edges that carnal flower has and carnal flower is amazing legend queen um but i really liked a song the second time i wore my sample of this i really just used all of the sample i was just like let's just let's just fucking go crazy let's really see how we feel about it and i sprayed it all over it was fourth of july and i was working and i was like uh i don't want to work today but wearing this made me feel so confident and pretty and just like i was obsessed with it and i smelled it my whole shift and i was just like oh my god i'm i have to buy a bottle now and this specifically is what's made me start really craving more just really floral perfumes i'm really excited about that right now um in fact that's why i got lovely because of wearing Dosan, I was like, God, I want some more like floral dominant um, fragrances. So, so yeah, this one's gorgeous. I need to try more Diptyque perfumes because I've really, I've enjoyed everything I've tried from them so far. It's only been this and Velocicos, um, but there's a lot of others that I've heard that I would really like to get my nose on. So, so yeah, this one is gorgeous she's so pretty what's wrong with her why is she so pretty um so those those are what i've been really enjoying lately what have you guys been into what kind of perfumes have you been into i know like the weather's been pretty crazy and it's definitely been super hot where i'm at um and it, it's it's been interesting how like perfumes i did not think i would like in the heat i been really enjoying so let me know what you guys have been into and I will talk to you later bye